Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make that poncho there that you just saw in the picture. Now it's a one size fits most poncho. You can add more rows to it to make it uh, larger. You would just continue with the rows. Now it's made with uh, the double crochet herringbone stitch. Very easy stitch, very pretty stitch. This is a four point poncho. Um, the front and the back points are actually sharper than the two side points. So the side points don't hang down quite as low as the front and back points. But it still is a four point poncho. Like I said, it's relatively easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using <clears throat> Lion Brand Amandala Roving Yarn. Very nice yarn. It's become one of my favorites. It is a 100% acrylic lightweight number three. Now I do not consider this a lightweight number three. I classify it as a four weight yarn. So if you're not going to be uh, using this, I would suggest any four weight yarn will work just fine. There's 415 yards per cake and I went through almost four cakes. But if you wanna make it bigger, you'll need more than that. The call that I'm using is called Cinnabar. Um, a lot of people told me they had trouble finding this. I bought this. I don't know where, where all it's sold, but I got mine online at Joann's. And then I'm going to be using a size J, which is a six millimeter crochet hook. Let's go ahead and we're going to start off <clears throat> with a chain of 76. Now, once we get our chain of 76 done, what we're going to do is we are going to follow it all the way down without twisting our chain. And we're going to slip stitch in the first stitch to form one large ring. Just like that. Now we're going to chain one. I'm going to go back into that same spot that I just slip stitched into and single crochet. Now I'm going to work along the chain and I'm going to work one single crochet in every single stitch until I get back around to the beginning. Just like this. So one single and every stitch all the way around your ring until you get back to your starting point. All right, I've come to the end of round one and you wanna go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet and you should have a total of 76 stitches now. Now round two, we are going to put the four points on the poncho. So we're going to start off by chaining one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch, okay? We're going to work right back into the same spot that we just slip stitched into. And we're going to be working half, or we're going to be working double crochet herringbone stitches. Now this is how those are done. Okay, we're going to work right into that stitch. You yarn over, go into that stitch, draw up a loop go through the first loop on your hook and then you draw through and go through the next loop on your hook and then you draw through and go through the remaining two loops on your hook so that was a uh, double crochet herringbone now we're going to do that again in the same stitch because we're creating our first point here so we're going to yarn over, go into the same spot, draw up a loop, go right straight into to the first loop on your hook, like that. Yarn over, go through the next loop, and yarn over and go through both loops, just like that. So we did two double crochet herringbones into that same stitch. Now we're going to work a chain of two, 
and we're going to go back into the same stitch and work two more double crochet herringbone stitches. So we're going to yarn over into the same stitch, draw up a loop, and just go straight through that first loop on your hook. And then yarn over and go through the next loop, and then yarn over and go through the remaining two. Again, another double crochet herringbone into the same stitch. So we're going to yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, and then just directly go through the first loop on your hook. Yarn over, go through the next loop, and yarn over and go through the remaining two loops. So now we have our first point made. Now we're going to do one double crochet herringbone into the next 18 stitches. So in the next stitch, we're just going to do our herringbone stitch. And we're going to do that 18 of them in a row. So that was one. Go to the next one. Two. Next one. There's three. The next one. Four. So we want to do 18 a double crochet herringbones in a row. All right. So I've done my um, 18 double crochet herringbones there in a row. Now we're going to work on our next point, which is a side point. Remember I said they're not quite as sharp as the front and the back. So what we're going to do into the next stitch is we're going to work one double crochet herringbone. And then we're going to chain two. Go back into the same stitch and work one more double crochet herringbone. And that's how we do our side points one double crochet herringbone, chain two, and then another double crocheting herringbone into the same stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work 18 of the herringbone stitches in a row again. And that will get us to our next point. So go ahead and start off. And we're going to work 18 in a the row. There's one. Two. Three, four. All right, I got my 18 in a row again. Now we're going to work our sharper point, which is actually the front of the poncho. So in the next stitch, we are going to work two herringbone stitches. There's one. Two, and then we're going to chain two and we're going to go back into the same stitch and work two more of the herringbone stitches. Just like that. So that's our front point right there. Two herringbones, double two, two herringbones, chain two, two herringbones. Now again, we're going to work one uh, herringbone stitch in the next 18 stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, Okay, I've got my 18 in a row again, and now we are going to do our last point, which is a side point, so it's the one that's not quite as sharp. So it just gets one herringbone into the next stitch, a chain two, and then one more herringbone. So those are our side points. Just like that. Now I'm going to put one herringbone in the remaining. There should be 18 stitches left. 
So you want to put one in each of the remaining 18 stitches. All right, I've come to the end of row two. I just did my 18 there, and I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and end by slip stitching into my first herringbone stitch right here of the first point, just like that. And now you should have a total of 84 stitches. Okay. Now, when you look at it. You might think that the opening looks kind of small. That's fine. The weight of the poncho stretches out the opening. I can't really stress that enough. A lot of people think like the opening's really small and it's not going to fit them. Trust me. Once you get rows after rows of, of weight on the poncho, it starts to stretch the neck out a lot. So if it, if it's looking small to you, it's fine. It, it'll be fine. But um, it's go not going to be a complete square. It'll be a little bit of a diamond shaped because your two points back and your front are sharper than your sides. That means they're going to be longer than your sides are. Okay, now we're going to start round three. Now round three is the repeat round for the whole poncho. So it's not hard to do. So what we're going to do is we are going to slip stitch two times until we get to our first chain two space. So there's one and two. So what we're going to do now from now on, we are going to chain one and we are going to turn our work. Now we're going to go back into this chain two space and we're going to work our sharp point. We're going to work two double crochet herring bones. Oops. One, two, and then we are going to chain two, and we're going to go back into the same chain two space and work two more. One, and two. Now we're going to work one herring bo one herringbone stitch in every stitch until we get to our next chain two space. So remember we slip stitch in these two stitches so you gotta kind of make sure you go right into the top of them. And we're gonna herringbone in every stitch Tell you what, the herringbone's not hard, but you'll move faster once you get get used to it a little bit better. So I'm going to continue working one herringbone into every stitch until I get to my next chain two space. Alright, I've made it to my next point, which is my side point, so it's the point that's not quite as sharp. So into the chain two space, I'm just going to work one herringbone, chain two, and then in the same space, another herringbone. Just like that. And now I'm going to continue working one herringbone stitch into every stitch until I get to my next chain two space.
All right, I've made it to my next chain two space, which is the sharp point. It's the front of my poncho. So into that chain two space, I'm gonna work two herring bones. There's one. Two, and then I'm gonna chain two, and I'm gonna work two more herring bones into that same chain two space. Like that. There's the third point made, front of the poncho. Now I'm gonna work one herringbone into every stitch until I get to my next chain two space. Okay, I've made it to my last chain two space, which is a side point. Remember, it's not quite as sharp. So it gets one herringbone, a chain two, and one herringbone into the chain two space. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put one herringbone in the remaining stitches until I get back one herringbone in each stitch until I get back to my starting point. Just like that. Okay, I've come to the end of round three. And you should have um, 96 stitches now. Now we're going to go ahead and end by slip stitching into a, the first herringbone stitch here. Now, from now on, it's just a repeat of round three. So we're just going to repeat what we did every round now. You'll always have 12 more stitches than you did the round before starting now. Always. So we start round four slip stitching two times till we get to our chain two space we're just repeating round three we chain one and we turn our work we we always turn our work because that's what gives it that slight zigzag effect anyways and now we're just going to repeat what we did we turned our work now we're going to do in this chain two space our sharp point so that's two Two herring bones. This first one's always the hardest. And then a chain two. Slide it over if you need to. And two more herring bones into that chain two space. And then we continue putting a one herringbone in every stitch until we get to our next point or our next chain two space. And that's where we put one herringbone, chain two, one herringbone. And then it's one herringbone in every stitch until we get to our next chain two space, which is the sharp one, the front. Two herringbones, chain two, two herringbones. All the way to our next point, and it's one herringbone, chain two, one herringbone. One herringbone in every stitch until the end. And then we always turn our work every round. We'll always have 12 stitches more than we did the previous round. And we just keep a repeating that. And you repeat that until you get your poncho as long as you want it to be. I did a total of 34 rounds. And that's including that very first round of single crochet. I did 34. You can just do it until it fits you the way you want it to fit you. But I did a total of 34. So just keep doing, repeating round three until you get the poncho as big as you want it to be. Alrighty, now once you get your poncho for however long you want it to be, um, 
I went ahead and just tied off and hid the tails at the bottom. Now I'm going to go around the neck and just clean up that front row. So I got the back of my work, back of my poncho facing me up here. Here's the neck area. And I'm just going to start my yarn. You can start it anywhere. I kind of like to just start it just right around the back of the point here. Just in any stitch is fine. Go ahead and pull through, and then I'm going to do a chain of one, like that. I'm going to go back into that same stitch, and I'm going to single crochet. And now I'm going to work around, and I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch around the neck. Just like that so I'm going to continue around until I get back around to my starting point so all the way down the front back around until we get back right over here to where we started one single crochet in every stitch all right now once you make it back to your starting point you should have 76 stitches because that's what you started with but if you don't have that, it's okay. As long as you have somewhere around that. I want to go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first single crochet. Now, if you want to go around your neck like a couple more times with uh, a couple more rounds of single crochet, you can. I'm just going to do the one. But if you feel like doing a couple more, you know, to, just for decoration purposes or whatever, or whatever, or if you want your neck a little smaller, that's fine. It's not going to hurt anything to go around it a couple more times. But I'm just going to do the one and then I'm going to tie off and hide that tail. And that's all I'm going to do. Now remember, you can, I think it turned out really nice. I love this yarn. Um, it's becoming one of my top favorites. If you want to do something special around the bottom, um, fringe would look awesome. I think you could do a shell border, a pico border. Um, leave, I'm going to leave mine as it is because I think the, it looks, I think it looks great turned out great so that's it i hope you enjoyed my tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my other videos or other tutorials i have hundreds of them um and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed give it a share um also if you look over there on the right hand side of the screen right now i'm going to put a playlist of all my other ponchos that way you can check it out in case you Maybe you're in a poncho making mood and you want to make another one. Maybe you'll find one there that you like and want to make. So that's it. And until next time, have a good day.